fresh. I too to have some time to speak to this. Uh, criminal law, sexual offences and human trafficking bill 2023. And like the previous speakers have said, um, we did engage with the Human uh, Dignity uh, Rockstars All Party Group um, and had a, 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 um, a meeting here and uh, obviously a presentation from people who really know at, and at the cold face of this. And we were shocked at the figures. Not that we didn't know what was going on, because we know what's going on, and, and going on for a long time at, at a large extent, but uh, the fact that it was so, so, um, it was so vile and so um, pernicious, and it can't be called anything else. So, Minister, you have full support in trying to um, uh, to do anything that we can to, to lessen this, but I, like um, Deputy Nolan said earlier, are very disappointed to know that our country here, we had a good ranking in our detection and, you know, rejection and abhorrence of this uh, practice, uh, um, but we've slipped down uh, the, line, the ladder badly, going into the second tier now uh, of, of, of defence against this. And that's reprehensible in the extreme, totally reprehensible in the extreme. And I want to, I'm delighted that um, under the Department of Justice, probably two or three years ago, and I can't remember how long, but they did set, out, set up in each credit of division sexual crime units and violence against women, especially uh, units. And I was delighted. In Tipperary, it was 10 for each unit, two sergeants. And the Tipperary division was totally oversubscribed. And every other division as well, by members of the Gallery Corner who wanted to go into this area. They were in it anyway, obviously, but, but dealing specifically with sexual uh, violence and sexual crimes. But the worry I have now, with the shambles that you have made of the defence and the the the, the, the nines and the, the Gardaí and everything else that we're, we're definitely losing our drug squad in Tipperary, we're definitely losing our community policing. I don't even know are these what I'm told that they're safeguarded, these units won't be touched. But I wonder. Traffic course is devastated is devastated. So by a minister, you're seeing a minister who won't listen. Won't listen to anybody. And the commissioner won't even go talking about him yesterday. But 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 there's a huge lot of um, Exploitation and going on for many, many countries. And uh, we talk about Ukraine at the moment. Uh, sexual, um, these issues here and, and exporting of children and harvesting of their organs and ki killing them and having their organs, selling them. It's going on a, a, a massive industry. So we're here jumping up and down and support them. But they have an awful lot of baggage in their country. And anywhere it comes from, this sexual uh, crime and exportation of, of children, exploitation. And uh, before I finish, Town Corla, um, I will I have to go back to it again. We're gone green and we want to be green in electricity. But we have a blind eye, a douche, uh, a sula, a dunta, uh, to the savage exploitation of minors, uh, young children. Uh, um, um, eking out um, lithium and all with hammers and chisels uh, for awful hours. Children as young as eight. We have this lovely go green and we want to all go electric and we want to be the front leaders, cheerleaders for, for climate change, against climate change and everything else. But we're ignoring that basic, disgusting, degrading slave trade. And when you treat children like that, it's only a step away then from treating them for sexual crimes and sexual exploitation and indeed export. And Deputy Hilly Ray said about the containers, we've seen the horrific stories. But we know what's going on in every uh, city and town in this country, and maybe in rural areas as well. So it's a massive issue. And uh, as a, pa a parent and a grandparent, I think it's horrific. They couldn't be more heinous crimes. And Minister made some defence counsel how to use certain uh, items of display. Yes, reprehensible, but look. I suppose everybody has a defense, entitled to defence, but uh, measures have to be taken there to stop that as well. So I hope this legislation will be robust enough and will be uh, strong enough and specific enough to deal with those areas. But we can bring all this legislation in, but we can't turn a blind eye forever, forever to the slave labour that's mining for our lovely electric cars, for the lithium for the batteries. Thank you.